Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog from the beautiful Pacific Rim National Park here on the west coast of BC. I'm up on the RV roof right now above our bedroom window because I wanted to show you the view we get every morning we wake up. This campsite has been amazing. We checked in here a few days ago and then today from this campsite part of the reason we wanted to stay here so long is because we're 20 minutes from Tofino so we're gonna head to Tofino as well in a second here. It's lunchtime, so we got a super cool tuna taco date planned. And then we're gonna scour the town a bit and then get back to exploring the campsite. So, big day ahead of us, and let's check her out. So we're just outside Tofino right now, but Taco Fino is actually not located directly in Tofino like we were thinking originally. So, we're gonna park on the side of the road here, but A, the Taco Fino restaurant looked super busy parking lot wise. B, all of the signs even on the side roads said no trailers, camping, or even RVs. I mean, we're just a small little class C RV. So we're basically the size of a vehicle, but we don't wanna get ticketed. So we just kind of went up the next road and then over into a side little kind of subdivision-y road. And then we wrote a little note we're gonna put on our dash too. Just letting them know we're gonna be back real quick just in case any locals care or just in case anyone who's ticketing rolls by, but I think we'll be good and quick here. Anyways, looking forward to tacos. Holy moly, all right, so we finally got our food and back to the RV because it's takeout only right now, but we got there right at like the lunch rush and it took Probably a total of like an hour for ordering and waiting for our food and stuff, but I do have a feeling it's going to be very worth it. A little pro strat, we noticed that they do take call-in orders, so if you were smart and if it's busy there like at lunchtime, you could call in ahead of time and then just go and pick up your order. Very good idea. So we got two tuna tacos, there's some seared tuna in there, and two fish tacos, Ooh. some battered fish. This thing is called, they call it, um... A gringa. A gringa. So it's like grilled and it has cheese and stuff in there. And then it has pork and kimchi we got. And Luke got a cookie. They called it a Diablo cookie. Fudge cookie with milk chocolate. And then what was it? Chili and ginger in it? I've never had a spicy cookie. So today was the day to splurge a little. So looking forward to this at the end of it all too. A little bit of an angle we're parked on right now. Not going to lie. Oh wow, that tuna looks good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That batter's so good too. Whoa. Wow, this is delicious. They had over 2,000 Google reviews. And it's amazing. I think it's a little local sweet spot there, so mm -hmm. definitely worth the wait. I'm gonna try this thing. Pork and kimchi. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. It's the best to cook my That's good. So that was honestly some of the best food I think I've had in my whole life. It was so fresh and so delicious. Now to top it off with dessert, we're doing today right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice and soft, very good. If you're ever visiting Pacific Rim National Park, or even just going for a drive to Tofino, definitely stop by Taco Fino. It's a good price, and honestly, you won't regret it. Highly recommend that. All right, so we made it to Tofino here, and it's nice, they have designated RV parking in this town and you're actually like not allowed to park your RV anywhere else, which I mean kind of makes sense. There's a tiny little town here. And it's free parking, which is always nice. Well, free for four hours, so we won't be any longer than that, so should be no issues there. But we're gonna walk down to downtown now and I guess like the pier area, and we really wanna find a gift shop, which shouldn't be much of a problem here. But I've been looking for a book that like tells you all about the local flora and fauna and like animals and stuff like that, so. Hopefully we'll be able to find something like that here today as well.
What do you got there, Alicia? I got a book. The Flora and Fauna of Coastal British Columbia. How relevant. So now that the book's acquired, we've kind of walked all the streets and I gotta say, Tofino is A, a lot quieter and B, not quite as big as I imagine. It's really nice. Plenty of room to walk around, check out the shops and yeah, just a good overall tourist vibe. We walked down a little side street steep hill here and we found an awesome point to take in some views. We're gonna sit here and watch the boats roll by and some seaplanes and stuff we've seen. And then I think the next stop we're gonna do is Chesterman Beach. On the way back to the Pacific Rim National Park campground we're staying at. And I think we had a few plans at the campground as well tonight. So what a great day though. Even the weather's cooperated. It rained so much yesterday. So we just kind of stayed in and took advantage of kind of the power and everything at the national park. And good to get back out and explore again. Chesterman Beach. When we were in Bali over at Changu in the popular surfing area there, even people there had knew about the Tofino surfing area and its reputation. I think as you can see in the background here too, there's quite a few surfers. Even on a Thursday with kind of some overcast weather, there's quite a few people surfing and I gotta say this beach is remarkably beautiful. It's right by the Tocofino area and just outside of Tofino so we figured we might as well pull over and take a quick pit stop with the RV on the way back to Pacific Rim National Park and dang, beat my expectations by quite a bit I have to say. It is so beautiful here and look at that blue sky actually back there we've got popping out again. <sighs> this day is just phenomenal. I am loving it here and so grateful. Thank you guys for joining the journey here because man, West Coast at its finest if I do say so myself. Super beautiful there, but it's time to hit the road, head back to the campground slash home, and get some dinner going. It's about six o'clock here, so we're gonna have some dinner. There's a lookout at Pacific Rim National Park. We haven't checked it either, so we're gonna hike that tonight. With the way the blue sky is working, maybe we'll get a nice golden hour out over the west coast. That'll be bonus, so here's the hoping. All righty, so we're back at home sweet home here at Green Point Campground. And because the weather is like cooperating with us, we're gonna cook a meal outside tonight. We're gonna make those um, black bean and portobello mushroom burgers that I was talking about. And I'm also gonna make a mango salsa to put on top. So it should be a pretty good dinner. So let's get chopping.
dinner served. We just got the mango salsa made for us as well. Little black bean vegetarian burgers. We are doing today right. What a great day. Dang. Yeah, I'd say that was a pretty successful day with the day trip to Tofino. And we're still gonna go and catch like the sunset and stuff over Long Beach over here. Good dinner. Tacos, that was so good. Yeah. This is like RV living slash camping at its finest right now. Yeah. I gotta say, so good. And we have electrical hookups. So we can still watch a movie tonight again, maybe. Yeah. Wow. I must say, these little burgers turned out really good. I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, but... And I think I actually went a little too heavy on the broccoli. It looks maybe a little too broccoli, but... <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be good. I think I've got everything on here, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Get some chow down on. I'm going to reach a runny real fast. And grab some greens for myself here. Dang. Look at that. I got the mango salsa I made, the burger obviously, some spinach, and then some sriracha and mayonnaise. I'm sure you guessed it, but RV camping doesn't mean you have to sacrifice any kind of quality of food. Our fridge is huge, so we have all sorts of produce to make yummy meals, and mm. this is just a perfect example. Delicious, nutritious, that is top notch. Top wow. Notch. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but. <laughs> Humble brag. Humble brag. Another classic, delicious, healthy meal made by Alicia. We're not like vegetarian or anything, but seriously, bean burgers are delicious. I don't yeah. care who you are. Yeah, they're delicious, and I mean, sometimes we buy meat and it goes bad in the fridge if we don't get around to using it, and. I mean, we still eat meat and we eat cheese and all that good stuff, but if every now and then you can cut back a little bit, no harm in that. Cat's outside with us too. Mm -hmm. No dinner for her, but she's been chasing all the robins, watching the crows. She's been upsetting the crows. Yesterday, she chased this one crow, I think, or something, but I swear it was two hours straight. It was just cacawing at us, and my goodness, it was a little tiring by the end of it. But. Like the cat wasn't even outside anymore, but the crow was still doing its like warning signal yeah. cawing and it was horrible. I knew she was in the RV and just sat on the branch beside our RV for literally at least two hours, nonstop, just going at us. So thankfully, not the case today. <laughs> it's a little slippery with the slippery. mangoes. <laughs> Yeah, it is really good. It works out so well. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're going to chat down on this and we'll see you guys at the lookout trail. Oh my lord, look at this big millipede or whatever he is. We'll have to get our species book that we bought today. Yep. Flash it up for you. He is yuck. Look at his little big old legs crawling along. Ew. Imagine finding that near me. <laughs> look how luscious and green this trail is to the lookout as well. Holy moly. This is such a beautiful campground. Pacific Rim National Park may be my favorite campground, I'm not gonna lie. Banff was cool last year. Gross Moor National Park last year we visited on the vlog was cool, but this place rocks. Whoa. Look at the sunset. Oh my goodness, catch the sunset. Sunset. Sunset over Long Beach that really just topped off the whole day. Like, what an amazing day! Yeah, like we've had some great days on our trips this year. Last year across Canada has been great, but this might be our favorite day on the trip yet. I'd have to say. Maybe it's up there for sure. Yeah, beautiful. 
Anyways, that being said, with this beautiful sunset over Long Beach, we're gonna wrap the vlog up here, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We really appreciate sharing the journey with you guys and having you here with us. We know a lot of you are new here too. We've gained quite a few new subscribers lately, so be sure to give a like, show your support in the video, show you enjoy it, and otherwise we will catch you all in the next one. Have a great night out there and take care, everybody. See you guys. Bye. Okay, you know what? We're actually gonna run down and catch the sunset on the beach too. Bonus footage here coming at ya. We don't have much time and our camera is dying, but let's go. Woo. <laughs> Must catch the sunset on the beach. Too good to pass up. Would you just look at that? Holy moly, if that's not an amazing sunset over an amazing spot, I don't know what is. Long Beach, Pacific Rim National Park at its finest. Woo! Anyways, the camera battery did die, but hope you enjoyed this little bit of bonus footage. That sunset was just way too beautiful to pass up. Talk about the friggin' cherry on top of an awesome day. So if you enjoyed the bonus footage as well, give that a like, and we'll definitely catch you next time, friends. Good night. See ya.